Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. The day has come and we have our flying parcel for the month of August. So this is a Gobstone Alley unboxing, as you'll know from the title. Um, I'm gonna go and address some bits and pieces about the box first, but if you want to skip to the unboxing, I'll insert timestamps somewhere here so you can fast forward to that. I wanted to mention something and clarify something because I feel like it would be really out of character for me to not do that. Honestly, in the last couple of months, not a day would go by when I wouldn't have a DM or a comment uh, asking about this box and when it's shipped and what is happening. So first of all, I'm not mad at all if you reached out to me and asked these things. It's not that at all, but I feel like I need to clear something out. I do not get paid to do these unboxings. Gobstonali are very kind to send these to me in exchange for an honest review. I do not work for them. So I don't have any information about your shipping or I don't have any access to the company. Like, I have to do my waiting just as much as you guys do. You guys know I have an anxiety disorder and sometimes in the situations that shouldn't really cause you distress, it does. So it has been really distressing me getting a lot of these messages. I understand that people probably in most cases tried to reach out for Gops to Gobstone Alley before they reached out to me and that is what I wanted to sort of address first. I know this box is late, I got it yesterday so on 2nd of October. Uh, honestly I've had boxes being way more late with loot crate and I do not mind when boxes are late, I just simply don't. I think if you just be patient they'll come. There's a lot of circumstances that might cause these type of things but what got a lot of people quite angry and disappointed was the fact that there was no communication or very minimal communication from Gobstone Alley on their social media and I'm assuming from emails because I don't know why else people would come to me. I don't know much but I know that they have had a lot of changes and a lot of uh, unfortunate things happening or I think that they have moved into a bigger warehouse in a different location so they changed the city and there were some legal changes within the company that they mentioned on their website. There were a lot of changes none of which really um, grants the lack of communication but I know a lot of people are quite angry and disappointed and don't know what is happening. You guys know that Gobstone Alley have been one of my favorite boxes to open. I know they're really nice people and I sympathize with them if they're struggling but I do also understand why people are upset. As I said personally I don't mind the lace whatsoever as long as I know what's going on and I think that was the issue because people didn't really know what was going on what was happening with the boxes were will they ever gonna get shipped and stuff like that as you guys know my loyalty is always to you so I felt like I needed to address this if you have subscribed recently or if you're thinking of subscribing just to want to make you aware that there might be some delays and issues and slow responses which hopefully are gonna improve very soon again I don't work for them I don't know what is going on inside of their things I don't know why people think otherwise my involvement in this box is literally the same as any other box that is sent to me for an uh, honest review. I do wish Gobstone Alley all the best and I hope that everything's gonna be improving very very soon. You know, transparency is key and I think everyone would be very very understanding as long as they knew what is going on. There was a little bit of a lack of that, uh, you might say, and I know a lot of people are angry. I felt in some occasions people would take it out on me, which I didn't think was very fair, but I understand that people are frustrated. So I've never had that with any other box, but I feel like this is a unique box. As as it goes it's a very new box and it exploded very quickly and yeah that being said the box is here I'm very excited to delve into it and it came in a very good condition which is nice it comes in a it comes actually in a bigger box and then you take and it's some sort of boxception but anyway this is August box this is their flying parcel for August and once you open it it has the tissue of the color of your house because you can choose your house and it is all red and then we have a wearable you always get a wearable and this is how the t-shirt looks like i've mentioned again and again how comfortable and stretchy and just like homey their t-shirts are Ooh, what is that it says i'm just here for muggle studies project trying to figure out what exactly is the function of a rubber duck what is the function of a rubber duck oh i love myself some arthur weasley quote as the, I really like the gray color, but like the yellow with the gray and the red is a bit maybe too much for me. But you know I sleep in those because they're so comfortable, so it's gonna be perfect for lounging. Then we have this pin, which has a B and a crest on it, which I'm assuming is for Bobaton. Yeah, it's a nice little pin. Moving on, the next thing that I see is this. So this is a pouch, a yellow pouch with a yellow golden egg inside, and it says. 
take a bath and take the egg with you. So this is for our Try Wizarding Championship and the golden egg that they got from the first test for the second one. I don't know if this actually is supposed to be taken to the bath. It's sort of like, it's like metal or like hard plastic. Like it feels like there's something in it. I think I'll just not gonna guess and we'll see when we come to the leaflet, but it's really nice and heavy. So maybe there's something inside. If not, then it's just a, a prop thing. I'm sure. I'm not sure. Then we have, ooh, some jelly slugs. Chewy candy, this is obviously a licensed product. I've actually never had these. I only had the Birdie Bots beans. So this is kind of cool. I never know whether I should eat that or like save it because like you sort of want to save it, but then you sort of want to eat it. <laughs> then we have Cozy Elves Magical Drinks and Sweets. And this time we have Neville's Handpicked Flower Tea. Oh, Neville, <laughs> that's cute. As you might have seen, I, oh, you can't really see, but I made like a shelf and I put these teas in like a potion bottle, so it looks like a potionier stuff, but I also drink them. Surprise, I know. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's so like flowery and white. So, and it has all of the ingredients at the back. It's actually a red tea with jasmine flower and elderflower. Oh. I feel like that's so Neville. Then we have this big tin, which again is a licensed product. Um, and this one is all vendors, makers of fine ones since 382 BC. And it's like this, like, is this a pencil case? I feel like this is a pencil case. But yeah, it's a licensed product and it's like a decent size. Oh, it actually has a little, well, whose one is this? Holly and Phoenix feathers, so it's Harry's wand. Also really nice tin, I don't know. I don't really use these for like my pens and stuff. What do you guys use these for? Because it's very beautiful. So I probably will just put it on my shelves and like look, it'll look pretty and be nice. <laughs> but what do you guys use those for? Okay, then we have this and that is gonna be probably a candle because you always get a candle with your orders and it is. So this time it is a blue candle and it says Academy de Bobeton. I don't know how to pronounce that. And at the top you have some, some blue flowers as well and it's very, very fleur kind of thing. And it smells of jasmine, I think, or something like that, something very floral. Next up we have something of a cloth material um, and it's black. Hmm, is this a tote bag? I think it's a tote bag. It is a tote bag. Ooh, I like the size. So it's not like a tiny one, which I really, really like. And it says, oh, it's like a list of where to go. <laughs> so we have Gringotts, Ollivanders, Potagious Cauldron, where is that? Slug and Jiggers, Apothecary, Flourish and Blots, Amanuensis Quills, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then Hogwarts is the last one, that's the only one that's unticked. So we're basically done the shopping in uh, Diagon Alley, I'm assuming. And the next stop is Hogwarts. So that is, so that is this one. I really like it. I like black toes a lot and I like that it's fairly simple. The next item we have is a Gryffindor coaster. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of coasters. I just never use them and if I do, they're usually like stone or something that they all match and stuff. But if you like coasters, there's that. It's also a licensed product. Another license. I think we have a lot of licensed products I, this time. And we have nine and three quarters keyring, and it's really heavy. It's really nice, your standard keyring that you can get in the shops for Harry Potter. Oh, hell yes. We have another potion bit, uh, which I love because I have my potion shelf, and I just love what they do with those. And this one's Felix Felicis in this amber glass jar, and it says brewed in September 1996. And it's really beautiful because inside you can see those like bubbles, but I'm assuming it's like gel or something. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And it's a different shape from what we usually get. So that's really cool as well because you can add some variety. And then we have another licensed item. And this one is Harry Potter set of four tins. I remember we had one of these tins at some point included. I don't use them, but... I know exactly what I'm gonna use these for now because I'm gonna store my SD cards for filming here because I use three and um, when I travel or something, if I take a spare, that just is a disaster waiting to happen. I will either like snap it or lose it, but this is gonna be brilliant for that. There's the nine and three quarters one. I think we had a Gryffindor one before. 
uh, the World Cup one, the Marauders map one, and what is that one? The last one. Oh, it's a potions one. How cool is that? Okay, I'm not mad at it. I'm not usually a fan of these like little container bits, but I mean, it's not my favorite item, but I do know what I'm gonna use them for, which is good. <laughs> and then I think the last item in this box is, is this another licensed item, and that is Hogwarts Muggle Studies. It's A5 metal wall sign, and it is definitely metal. And there are pre-drilled holes here for you to hang it up if you wanted to. Um, yeah, a lot of license licensed items now. And then we have our flying parcel list where you can check what you got. So we had 13 items again. I think way more licensed items this time than ever before. I'm excited for the slugs. I think... Oh wait, I need to check the egg. What was that? <laughs> okay, it's Flor Delacour's Dragon Egg Inspired Bath Salt. How'd you use that? So if there are bath salts inside of that. Oh, or actually you might be able to peel this thing off and then open it. I'm not sure if you just put this in the bath or if you peel this off and then you can like twist and open it. Regardless, it's a pretty cool item. I think it's very... Um, inventive and yet yeah, that is everything I definitely think this is a strong box it's probably not my favorite of theirs that they have done you got a lot of licensed items and licensed items are so expensive for Harry Potter as I'm sure you guys all will know so this definitely should hit its value what would be my favorite item? I think my favorite item is the Felix Felicis they're like potion -y bits are always almost always my favorite as well um, I also, re I also really like the egg and what they've done with the idea and I also really like the tote bag. So those are my favorite items, let me know what yours are, let me know what you thought about the box. Yeah, that is everything for this one, I'll leave their links down below as per usual. Thank you so much for watching, stay awesome, stay kind and I'll see you very soon. Bye!